Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Doxy Mom and if you haven't done so already, I'd greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button and you can ring the bell for notifications. And if you like this video, then just give it a thumbs up. But today I wanted to talk about being united. Um, unfortunately, a major dispute happened over the weekend. I don't know if you caught it. Guys, I follow a lot of YouTube channels, and two of my favorites are In the Matrix and Shady Groove, the In, In the Matrix Groove Hour that comes on usually most days from 1 to 2.30 um, Eastern Standard Time. And then I also follow Red Pill 78 and he does news you know, many times a week, he, he does a, usually does a live show on the weekends, and he has guests on. And, and this past weekend, um, so I, you know, I was looking forward to, uh, to hearing some of my favorite guys together. And unfortunately, some things happened. And so I just wanted to make this video and, and try to make you um, kind of see things from both sides because we're taking sides, guys, and, and we, we shouldn't be doing that. We've got to stay united. But um, just to give you some background, you see Matrix and Shady, they did this deep dive research. I won't get into it, um, but they did this research, and, and because of them, we now or some of us know about the Paysor family. And like I said, you can go and, and do the research yourself and, and find their research on that. But they were, they're very, very, um, you know, they were very proud of themselves, which they should have been for discovering this information. And they, because though that they've discovered this information, they have made some very powerful people very angry at them. So they've been getting attacked. Okay, Matrix, he's been doxxed. His whole family's been doxxed. Um, there are people that are fake MAGA, okay? The greatest example I can tell you is Ann Coulter. You know, she was all pro-Trump, and then all of a sudden, oh, she's not for Trump anymore. And, you know, a lot of these fake MAGA people have been attacking them. So I, I just kind of want you to understand their mindset of how they've been being attacked and attacked heavily um, here recently. Now, Red Peel, you know, he has his new show. He goes over MSM, and he invited Matrix and Shady to come on to his show to do a live interview. Now, guys, usually when you invite somebody on to do an interview, you do a pre-interview. You guys talk privately beforehand and kind of discuss the things that you're going to be discussing on the show and apparently, um, that didn't happen because Red Peel um, invited them on and asked them about were they going to, um, you know, they were going to be going, um, I'm sorry, Matrix and, and Shady. They were going to a, an event um, it, with this Jay-Z Knight woman um, and... He, he was asking them, you know, why are you going to this event? And they're like, well, you know, we're, we're going to, to share. Because, guys, both of, these, both of these YouTube channels, they have one goal. And the goal is to share the truth. Okay? They want to wake people up. People need to be um, understanding what's really going on. So, they, both of these guys, they all have the same goal. And... Um, Apparently, though, that Matrix and Shady, they were going to do their presentation on the, their PASOR research with a group, this, this Romtha uh, group. I've, I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this Jay-Z Night Woman, but apparently this Jay-Z Night Woman is a medium, and she channels uh, through this, this demon, Romtha, um, and guys, you know, the Bible clearly talks about we do not try to communicate with the dead that is detestable to God because when we die, we either go up or we go down because our soul lives on. And if we have Jesus in our heart and we've asked him to forgive us of our sins and we're follow, following him, we're going up. If you don't choose Jesus, you don't choose heaven, you choose hell, you're going down. I mean, that's, you have two choices, guys. 
That's it. And I don't know how many of you know this. I didn't know this. Um, you know, we're, we're all in different places in our walk with Christ. Um, and, and it's not any of my business to know where anybody is in their walk. But I will tell you, each of us have, we have an angel on one side, we have a demon on the other. Okay? That's just the way it is. We all have at least one angel and one demon. And these medians that I'm sure you've seen, the Long Island medium, and even Steve Harvey started bringing on this young man who was talking, talking to the dead and and once he started doing that, I just I just quit watching uh, because I, I know how evil this is, guys. This this is darkness. You you don't go there because what these mediums are doing, they're not talking to your dead relative. They're talking to the demon attached to your dead relative, and that's how they can say these things. And and then the family member goes, oh, nobody knew about that. Well, the demon knows everything about you. Okay, so. It, it's really, really bad stuff, all right? And we are in a spiritual battle, not just a digital battle, but a spiritual battle. And so Red Peel, you know, they had, uh, Red Peel had Shady and Matrix on the show, and um, I, you know, they thought that they were going to discuss uh, their PASOR research and, and their presentation. And, you know, um, Red Peel, I, he just, he, he just, kind of blindsided them. He was like, well, you know, Jay-Z Knight is this this medium woman. She's talking to this demon. She's uh, talking to the dead. She's really, really evil. And when, you know, when they heard that, when Matrix and Shady heard that, I, they, they just, they immediately went on the defense. Okay? And, and what you have to understand is that they have been being attacked. And in their minds, they felt that this was an attack on them. And they, they got defensive. I mean, you can go back and listen to the video. They got defensive. Um, you know, but Red Peel, he did not, you know, he didn't warn them. He didn't say, you know, this is what we're going to be talking about. In my mind, guys, both parties are guilty. Red Peel should have privately let these guys know that this woman and the place that they're going to speak at is evil, okay? He should have done that in private. And Matrix and Shady, they should not have gotten as defensive and as upset as they did because I was watching the comments. I was watching the comments in Red Pill, and there were things like, you know, well, who are these guys? And, and man, they're rude and... Well, I used to like Matrix and Shady, and I'm never listening to them again. And then, um, yesterday, I believe, Matrix and Shady had a, had a show, and they apologized for their behavior. Uh, they, they knew they had gotten too defensive, and then I was watching the comments again, and, you know, they were saying, well, I'm never listening to Red Pill again. Guys, don't you see? This is what the enemy wants. He wants us divided. But let me tell you this, the enemy, they're not divided. They're staying united. They are, it, this is a fight to the death, literally, because many of the people in the government, they are going to go down for treason. Treason is punishable by death. And, you know, they're, they're fighting. They are fighting back. So we have to stay united. So in my mind, you know, both parties, they made mistakes we all make mistakes. Go back and watch my video, Be Nice, when I just, you know, went off on the dentist. And then I felt terrible about it. But we're human. We make mistakes. We live in a fallen world. So what, what I guess I'm just trying to say is, guys, you know, please don't um, say, oh, I'm not going to watch Matrix anymore. Oh, I'm not going to watch Red Pill anymore. Because they, they, they both have great shows and they're both, they both have the same goal, is to get everyone, you know, awakened to what is really going on. Because the mainstream media, they're not telling us the truth. And so I just want to close in a couple of Bible verses, uh, basically about how important it is to stay united. And uh, the first one here, Matthew 12, 25. Knowing their thoughts, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, 
and no city or house divided against itself will stand. Mark 3.25 And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And I want to close with Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 through 4 because I think this is so very important. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any, if, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. So I'm going to close it here, guys. And just remember, united we stand, divided we fall. So until next time, everybody, this is Doxy Mom. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and God bless you all.